I'm Lorenzo. And I'm Becky. And we're here in Montesilvano, Pescara, Italy, where we're going to start our journey and go all the way back to where we're currently living in Lisbon, Portugal. So follow us while we fix this big boy. Meet Arnold, as we call the RV. It's an old Ford from 1989, but call him vintage. I bought it last year after the pandemic to hit the road and try van life. It is compact but very comfortable and has everything you might need. It can host up to five people. Follow us inside while we improve a few things. Okay, in this first day, what we're gonna do is to modify the closet. As you can see inside, it's quite empty. You can only put some shirts here and I don't really like that because I want to put t-shirts. So we're gonna need some wooden pieces and create some structure here so we can store more things, something like t-shirt. And yeah, the first thing we need to do is take measurements side to side and then we're gonna buy the materials and build it. Let's do it. So, how many shelves should we make? I think as many shelves as we can get in there with our still space for our hands to reach in. So like with one here. Mm -hmm. two, two. Three. Four. Yeah, I think that is going to give we'll us go for four shelves space. and this one for shirts sure, probably going to stay. I'm not going to remove it, but it's not going to be used anymore. Mm -hmm. Time to buy the material. Let's get something. Okay, so we went to the hardware store and we had them, uh, the workers there cut the boards to our measurements that we took earlier. And now we're back in Arnold's and Lorenzo is preparing the pegs or in this case, we're gonna use these pieces of wood to get the shelves to stay in there. And hopefully we're gonna have a nice place to store many, many things on our journey to Lisbon. sanded today and made it much smoother to open and close but we're hoping to put clothes in here and have a lot of different options for everything we need on the road. The hot water boiler. A piece that I barely used and it broke the second time I used it. It's now time to get it changed. So let's start opening it. Basically what's happened is here it's leaking water it was already repaired, but I guess in a bad way. So I would rather just change it completely and putting a new one, especially because this one is quite old. So let's see what we can do. Got a package from eBay. What will be inside? Let's see. Six liter. Okay, let's start unpacking it. So we're gathering up some of our last things for the camper. We're leaving in just about an hour. Headed back to Lisbon from Montesilvano, Italy, which is near the larger city of Pescara on the East Coast. Lorenzo, how do you feel? T minus one hour before departure. Excited. It's going to be a long trip. All right. Yeah, we've got some pasta. Definitely got to have the ukulele everywhere you go. We're pretty loaded up, as you can We're see. We're pretty loaded up, yes. 
Yeah, this is a pretty sizable van. Even has its own bathroom with the shower coming from the sink head here. And this is what Lorenzo is very proud of, this water boiler install he worked on this past week. Very impressive, will give us some hot water. Kitchen area. Nice. Okay. Bed, driving. Here's the back of Arnold. See, I don't know if you can see this, but like, no, you can't. But I actually drew the L and the D. We just don't have the marker to like draw it in. We're gonna have to do that when we get back to Lisbon, perhaps. Your seat, my seat. Yeah, I am the navigator and the guy who knows how to drive a manual car is the driver. So we got a bag of goodies made by mama. Hello. They've been so good to us as we are preparing to leave. We've been here for 10 days. And so we have for the boat ride tonight, which is gonna be like, I think 20 hours or something. We have bread, we have sandwiches, we have apples and bananas in here somewhere. So grazie, grazie for all this yummy food, ciao. Getting ready to leave now. Just about the final. Goodbye. Ciao. Mama. Ciao, Papa. I promise I'm going to learn more Italian. And we're off in the driver's seat. <laughs> There's time. We've just started it already. We have a wild door swaying to and fro as we're driving, but luckily we're gonna stop for gas very soon as our first stop and also put on some navigation here on this little, it's very key to always have your little phone holder no matter what trip you're going on, I think. How's it feel to be behind the wheel, Lore? Oh, first time after a while. You're doing great so far. You're the only one that can drive this thing, so. I hope you keep doing well. Making our first stop at a service area in Italy. We've been going now for about an hour and a half, two hours. Auto grill. So this is all of our stuff as we're stopped here at a gas station and we are getting ready to leave. We have really filled up our place and we even built this closet with the shelves while we were here in Italy. And um, we're ready to go. A little bit of traffic coming into Rome. I'm gonna show you the good and the bad on this trip. It's not all a, a bed of RV life roses, but um, luckily that the complete like standstill didn't last very long. We don't know why, but you know, oh, keep on going. It's Rome, we know it. It's Rome, it's just it's Rome traffic. Yeah. yeah. Now finally, we're free to go. Free to go. After a brief stop in Rome, we are on our way to Civitavecchia to catch that boat. Ready to embark, this big boy on the boat. Woo! And how long is the boat ride going to be? 20 hours. Woo! All right! So we're walking now into the port of, at Cittavecchia, which means old city, so Lorenzo told me. Uh, and this is what we need to do to get on the boat from Rome to Barcelona. It's all part of the process. And the funny thing is, Lorenzo and I met on a cruise ship and we're about to get on the first one since that day. Ooh, Batman. There, the funny thing is there's tons of cruise ships here that are just docked. I'll get more footage of that later. Now 6.30, check-in started at 5 for our boat. Woo, we're parking on this boat. 
I'm liking this one over here, far right. That one looks. Oh yeah, it's so fancy. Very fancy. I, I saw an MSC. There's just several cruise ships in this port of to meet the Vecchia. I feel like I'm in one of those abandoned places videos. This is so strange. This used to be the spa on the cruise ship. And now it's just empty. Just this is so weird. It's like I was denied. Surprisingly better than I thought because we didn't get a cabin on the cruise ship so we had to sleep wherever we could find and we brought an air mattress and Lorenzo found the best spot on the whole ship for someone without a cabin. It was this dark room, um, one of the air cabins rooms with all these like seats but we just found a spot in the back and he blew up the air mattress and it was really nice. We had two pillows, we brought a sheet and a sleeping bag. So we, we slept better than probably a lot of people in the cabins. Time to eat. the wrong floor that was just cars there she is there I should say he there he is we haven't seen our camper for about almost 24 hours yay Arnold oh my god what a rush yeah it's been about 20 hours since we last saw Arnold and we went to the wrong floor first of all um, we got a truck driver here with all of his cool little stuffed toys and charms in his truck. He's waiting to leave as well. So it's quite funny when you're separated from your vehicle and then you go find it. But we all got to Barcelona. Time to leave. Approximately two hours or something to lay down. Next destination. We're actually staying in a hotel tonight. Yeah, I need a shower. We want a shower. Yeah. You, you can tell it. <laughs> Barcelona, baby. We're off the ship, out of customs, and here we are. I haven't been to Barcelona since 2003. Welcome, Lorenzo. To Barcelona, right on time. Woo! I'm on the road again. We're gonna have any footage of the Ibis Hotel that we stayed last night because we're just too tired. We arrived there, part big boy, straight shower and straight to bed. And this morning the alarm rang and we were right on the road trying to get to Saragossa before 11 because we are joining a city tour, exploring the city and then well, we don't have much plan. We're gonna see my friend, so probably spending a day company and let's see how it goes. Short trip today, long trip tomorrow, long rest trip the day after tomorrow. So and look at this highway there's almost no one on it to Zaragoza we drove from Barcelona to a town called Leda last night for the Ibis and now from Leda to Zaragoza it's only about an hour this is a Saturday morning and there's nobody on this highway and I think we all know why the Greenwich Marine 500 meters we did not expect this on our trip coffee first time we've made coffee in our little Arnold this is exciting For the tram back to Arnold on day four of our trip. We're in Zaragoza. We just spent the night with Alfonso and Anya. Shout out to them. Uh, it was the first day that they had moved into their new apartment and so it was quite funny because they were scrambling to get our stuff together. 
to be able to have us have a place to sleep. But it was really nice and warm. We really enjoyed this town. It's a town of art and a very nice tram system. So we've made it to our next parking spot in Toledo, which is just in the hills behind us. And our hotel is over there, which is great. By the way, we have been sleeping in hotels because it has been quite chilly at night and there's no heating system in our car. So look at these escalators going into Toledo. Thank you for the escalators. Cause that looked like a massive hill to climb to get to the top of this walled city in Spain. Arnold! Can you see the van? Right there. <laughs> We're in Toledo on the top. This is the oldest surviving synagogue in Europe and it's now run by the Catholic Church and it's got incredible architecture here in Toledo, Spain. de San Martín in Toledo. It's really, really beautiful. This town is so gorgeous. You hear so many amazing things about it. And I really love also this little route that we found that people can take around the city. I mean, it's still going far up into the distance. Even across this street here, the bridge. checked out of our hotel and we are on the final day heading back to Portugal, day five. Finally got on the highway after leaving Toledo, Toledo and we are back on the road. 600 kilometers to go, ready for this. We got this. It's about five hours and 20 minutes of driving if you don't stop and with nothing car. happens. With, with a car. car, with a car, according to your goal. But for us, we're gonna add like two hours <laughs> to that. Awesome! Yes, the border crossing was not bad. Woo! 